Oh my god, so you made this thing take DDR drive? I got a stick right here, buddy! Out of an old computer. On this TS469, I believe I have to take this whole cover off, which isn't that big of a deal. Other ones, they have a slot on the bottom. This one does not have it. So what do I need? Like a number two screwdriver. Unplug it, shut it down. And uh, let's start getting screws out of here. Blurring out. I didn't want to put it on the ground and scratch it. We just got to slowly pull it. And the ram should be, this is all this thing is. Look at that little baby power supply. This is kind of cool. Oh look, no ram at all. It's integrated. So I put, uh, I can put a stick in over here. A little flappy, flappy flap. Wow, this is really cool. This is really neat. Now I just hope to get this thing going. Look at that little tiny board on there. Oh baby, it's like a little workstation. It's not too dusty in there. And there's your hard drive base. Wow, this is really cool. I'm glad I did this. And I'm glad I hoard stuff. Even though I'm gl some days I absolutely hate that I hoard stuff. Because now we got more RAM in it now. Even if we need it or we don't, really don't need to. But we had it, so why not use it? This should be the stuff Samsung RAM. I believe it tested still good. And if uh, another computer goes in this way. Yeah, it's integrated RAM. Yeah, it's only one slot. Integrated RAM and upgradable RAM. It's kind of like an Acer computer. <laughs> oh, now we gotta push this back. Someone's gonna go, are you doing this all wrong? Well, damn right I am. All right, let's go get that baby in there. Again, sometimes the RAM's on the bottom. I guess the board on the other units is on the bottom. The board on this one's on the side. It all depends, you gotta look up your uh, make and model. And that is really cool. I wonder if you can get these mini power supplies when they break. But luckily, it's been on UPS power. I can't make the video. I thought it wasn't going to go in, but now it's latched in there good. You really got to tilt it. And then you can put it in. Hopefully, it'll still boot with that in there. But that's cool. I think that's the most you can go. 2 gigabyte. I really don't need any more. I don't know. Put it back together. See if it boots. All right, there it is, all back together. Will it boot? Will it boot? Will it boot? System booting. It takes a while for it to start. It's not beeping. Well, it always does that beep. I think that RAM did test good as well. Hope so. We check it. Oh, there you go. I read 984, I think, before. So a RAM took. It's been running smooth. Cool mod for free.